welcome back. Today on Dialed In DIY, I want to show you how to make this awesome little versatile power pack that I designed to be my trigger device for a marshmallow cannon. Since you can slide those volts up or down on demand, you can use this for a lot of different things, not just actuating a sprinkler valve like I did for the Canon, but for so many different things. If you need to drop it back down to that 3.57 volt range somewhere in there, or all the way up to 30 volts, this will do it for you. You get the power you need with very little cost in the build. If you've seen many of my videos in the past, you know I like to find ways to cut costs and repurpose parts from other things so that you can actually save things from landfill, like all of the batteries used in this project and others that I salvaged from old laptop cells. If you want to see more about that, check the links in the description below. There are six key parts that I did buy for the build on this project and I have put plenty of information in the description below if you're interested in finding more about getting these or what the parts are in greater detail. So for the rest of this video, I wanna show you how this is all gonna get put together, then show you how I actually make it, and share with you some other projects that you might be interested in using these parts or a couple of other parts that are similar to them. All right, now that we've got the design idea laid out well, let's go ahead and walk through this step by step so you can see exactly how I like to actually connect those dots. To keep this all secure and nicely organized, you're going to want to put it in some kind of a project box. You can definitely just go out and buy one and make sure that it'll fit all your parts, or you can do what I did and just search through your junk parts to find an old case or something that you could repurpose for this particular project. I think this came from an old cell phone or something like that. It was just the package that a product came in, and usually these end up either being recycled or thrown in the landfill. But I much prefer to take something like this and give it an awesome new purpose. All right, now for the really high-tech way that I like to secure all this stuff inside a project box. Hot glue. And for each of these little PCBs, I do like to use a little bit of like scrap craft foam. It's kind of like a spongy rubbery kind of a paper almost. And I just cut it to fit because it has a couple of benefits. One, it elevates my particular device to the openings that I have to use, but it also gives it a little extra cushion. And I feel like I can get the PCB to stick without having to push down quite so hard.
When I'm building stuff like this, I often like to test them along the way a little bit. This one I waited and didn't test till here, but it's also because I kind of set everything up first on a breadboard just to make sure I like the way everything worked together. So I already knew it was gonna work, but I still like to get it back out and just double check that everything is kind of lining up and doing what it's supposed to do before I finish gluing that last little piece down. So there you have it. Not quite as hard as it might have seemed like it was going to be at first anyway, huh? All right, to use it, we just simply click the power button on. And you see that little screw there? You just turn that clockwise or counterclockwise, depending on whether you want the volts to go up or down. So I want to show you the real reason I made this. And I needed batteries that I could crank to 15 volts to open up this marshmallow cannon to shoot little mini marshmallows for quite a long distance. If you want to make something similar to this, but with fewer parts, check out some of the videos that you see here. They're all linked in the description below. I also have some videos that help to share some more information about useful tips on charging and using batteries in parallel. As well, there are plenty of other chargers and multi-tools that I've made with these kind of parts that have been tremendously helpful for me and my friends. As always, I want to thank you so much for taking time out of your day to stop by Dialed In DIY and checking out my video. If you liked it or got something out of it, I'd love it if you'd let me know by clicking the thumbs up down there. And then please do subscribe while you're here and click that bell to get future notifications because there's going to be plenty more Dialed In DIY to come.